I covered this indicator before on my channel, and you all seem to enjoy it, so it's making a return. With this new indicator on TradingView, you will never miss a profitable opportunity again. This tool provides clear buy and sell signals with profit targets based on trendline breakouts. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will teach you how to use this indicator correctly and provide you with a full trading strategy that will make you consistently profitable. This technical analysis tool can be used for volatile cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and it also works on stocks, futures, and Forex pairs. The most optimal timeframes for this indicator are the 5 minute, the 15, the 1 hour, and the 4 hour timeframe. Quickly before we start, I negotiated a new promo with Fairdesk for anyone who is our VIP member. Your Fairdesk account will upgrade from General VIP 1 to Lifelong VIP 5. This includes 30% discount on your trading fees and 10% trading fee rebate as USDT. This totals 40% off your trading budget. If you are currently a VIP member and already signed up with my link to Fairdesk, please open a support ticket and input your UID and we will get you sorted. With Fairdesk, there is no KYC for all regional users. You can get an extra deposit bonus on up to $100,000 and you can also copy trade professional traders. So to install this indicator to your chart, Log in to your TradingView account and open any market. I am viewing the Solana price chart on the 15 minute time frame. Open the indicator search tab and search for trendline breakouts with targets and select this one here created by Chart Prime. The trendline breakouts with targets indicator is carefully crafted to improve trading decision making by accurately identifying trendline breakouts and breakdowns through pivot point analysis. Upon the detection of a breakout or breakdown, a signal is thoroughly assessed against a false signal condition. Afterwards, the indicator instantly generates a trading signal. Additionally, it performs precise calculations to determine potential target levels and then displays them graphically on the chart. These features make this tool unique compared to all other trendline indicators on TradingView. Let's take a look at how we can use this indicator in practice. The trendline breakouts with targets indicator draws an upper trendline when the market makes lower highs. As soon as the price bar closes above the trendline, the indicator issues a buy signal with a profit target based on market volume. If price reaches the target, the label then becomes green. You can choose to follow these targets or set your own. The logical idea is to take partial profit once the price reaches the indicator target, letting the rest of the position remain open until the price triggers a trailing stop loss. When the price makes higher lows in the market, the indicator draws a lower trend line. If the price breaks below the line, the indicator gives us a sell signal and a recommended target is also displayed on the chart. In the indicator settings, you can customize the period and trend line length. Changing the period number to a higher value makes the indicator less sensitive to price changes, resulting in fewer signals. Also, as I said in my last video on the indicator, extending the lines further can be useful for specific trading strategies. For example, you can use trend lines to get a better price when opening a trade. If a lower trend line gets broken and a sell signal is given, instead of opening a sell trade immediately, you can wait for the option for the market to retest the trend line. If you see the market struggling to break above the trend line, then you can initiate a short trade at that price potentially catching more pips. The same strategy can be applied for long entries as well. For instance, if the indicator produces a buy signal at a certain price, waiting for the market to retest the trend line before opening the position can lead to a better deal. Taking into account a long-term market bias is vital to eliminate fake breakouts. When the market is controlled by buyers, a trendline breakdown might be just a short retracement before another significant price increase. As a result, opening a trade at this time is very risky, as you would be betting against the market. An EMA with its length set to 200 or a VWAP band can help solve this problem. There are many indicators that work great with the trendline breakouts with targets, primarily price action tools and oscillators. In the previous video, we did use an oscillator, 
So in today's video, we will be using price action. For example, you can apply order blocks with signals by Sonar Labs. Open the indicator settings and change the sensitivity to 40. And you can hide the order block borders to make the chart look cleaner. This powerful indicator displays order blocks on the chart, which are areas where traders are interested in buying or selling the security. These areas often affect the future price. For instance, if a bullish order block is strong, the market will find support around it. The more pending buy or sell orders are concentrated in the order block, the stronger it becomes. A strong order block is more difficult to break through. So how do we spot such an order block? By looking at this indicator, we can see that some order blocks appear alone, typically considered insignificant. The price may respect them in the short term, but in the long term, they will get broken. On the other hand, order blocks that appear together at the same price are considered stronger. If you look at how often the price respects these levels, it's not a coincidence. Now with the information that you have learned so far, you can combine the order blocks with signals and the trend line breakouts with targets indicator into one effective strategy designed to trade like the big institutions. You don't need to be an expert to apply this strategy. All you need to do is listen carefully to what I'm about to show you. Let's start with how to open a long trade with this method. First, look for the market to approach a strong bullish order block. The retest may occur more than once, and the more that the price revisits this level, the better it becomes. Next, examine the price action to make sure buyers have initiated their orders at this order block. The market must show signs of bullish momentum, and one of the best signs is when the price makes higher lows. It's helpful that we have this trendline breakout indicator as it connects highs and lows making it easier to see when the market is showing positive momentum. For final confirmation, look for a break of the upper trend line. Place a stop loss below the order block and the target is two times the risk. The stop loss should be moved to break even once the price reaches the indicator target. For short trades, look for the market to approach a strong bearish order block. The more order blocks that we do have present at this price is for the better. The following step is to analyze the price action. The market must show significant signs of selling pressure, which is evident when the price starts to make lower highs. For ultimate confirmation, look for a lower trendline break. Set the stop loss above the order block and set the target at two times the risk. The stop loss should then be moved to break even once the price hits the indicator target. Traders, I hope you have understood this trading strategy. If you have any interesting ideas or indicators, please write them down in the comments. Be sure to backtest this or any other trading strategy you find on Flames in Trading. Thanks for watching. Until next time. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.